going on? I wanted to do, uh, make a little video on this real quick. Because, I mean, I see so many people airing this, dude. It's it's crazy how easy it is, dude, just to look up a word in the context of which it's used. You know what I'm saying? It's And it's also, uh, you can see how people don't really look nothing up, man. They don't really do their due diligence to seek a matter out. Instead, they take someone's word for it and then dismiss it off as something else. But anyway, I want to describe the word meekness, not weakness. They sound so similar, and a lot of people think meekness is weakness. But if you look at weakness, it is not meekness. Listen, do you think to humble yourself, does it take strength, or does it take the opposite of strength? Do you got to just, ah, uh, no. If you're a high-minded, proud, intellectualized person, who's been scientificized into all these ideological thinking, and you don't even know it, man. You think you came up with these ideas on your own. It takes strength to humble yourself. It doesn't take weakness. Even though, listen, when you get beat to the point where you cannot move no more, you're humbled. Or you could do it just willingly by being like, oh, I was duped. I was duped. I'm an idiot. Uh, I made a mistake. Listen, that's humility, okay? Is when you can take yourself off the high horse, take yourself off the pedestal, and just go ahead and lay on down on the floor, face down. You know what I'm saying? Get it low, you can go. That's where God says, hey, that's you're on your way to be uh, exalted by him, not by your own hand. It's just because you've submitted, you've humbled yourself, okay? The word meek, the meek shall inherit the earth, okay? Meek means those that are humble and those that are willing and eager to learn. Meekness means you are willing to learn. You are humble enough that you'll put what you think you know aside for a minute and you'll listen to someone else. And you you are able to be taught. That's what it means. That mean, that, and it goes to reiterate again that you can't do it by your own hand. It's got to be a team effort. It's not you. I mean, even though you can help facilitate it by humility and meekness. You know what I'm saying? That's all. That's what you need. You got just got to be eager, willing to learn. And if you do that and you study out and seek out all things and see if they be true or not, it's going to lead you to that humbling experience with your face on the floor. Either way, whether you do it by submission to God or you do it because you just try to fight it for so long that you just had to give up the fight and just say, hey, wait a second, I can't even fight this. I can go ahead and deny it, be willingly ignorant, but that's your choice. That's the opposite of humility. That's the opposite of meekness. This is like, I don't want to learn what you have to know. I know everything already. Or what I know, I like what I know, and I'm just going to stick with it. You know what I'm saying? That's, the, that's called stubbornness, that stiff neck. That's hard head. It's like my cousin in jail right now, man. He's hard headed, damn it. I mean, I love the guy, man, but he just, he's young. And he just comes from two angry parents and he grew up in a damn angry world that they just pimped him out, man. He's just another number now, man. He's making uh, the state $30,000 a year, you know what I'm saying, for his inmate uh assessment or i don't know what the, the term is but you know what i'm saying because hey he wasn't weak you know what i'm saying but then again he wasn't strong but i'll tell you this he wasn't meek enough because if he was meek enough you know i've been kicking knowledge at him for a minute you know what i'm saying but it's just he's so stubborn he wouldn't listen i knew it dude knew it damn it But it is what it is. You know, I uh, use this in, as an example. You know what I'm saying? Of what happens if you refuse to try to humble yourself a little bit and become uh, a vessel that's meek, that's eager, willing, humble. It's humble and it's eager, willing to learn. 
You know what I'm saying? That's really what it means. Those that are willing to learn. Okay, it, listen. Let's say the smartest guy in the world, Stephen Hawking, Albert Einstein. Were they meek? They weren't. They knew all ki- They know all kinds of great, awesome, uh, worldly, sensual, devilish knowledge. You know what I'm saying? They know all kinds of that, man. I mean, that stuff is good. Yeah, I mean, it's not good. I mean, it's not good or evil. It is. That's exactly what it is. It's the knowledge of good and evil. And these guys practice it. I've practiced in it because my whole life I've been taught it in school. They taught me Greek mythology in high school. Okay. So come on. I mean, that's the knowledge of good and evil. But you don't even know that it's not good and evil. They just, just told you it was myth. You know what I'm saying? They was myth. You know what I'm saying? And I see like uh, this this one guy. This we're, we're having this uh, internet battle. You know? Yeah. I mean, it's it's stupid. Anyway, I'm not trying to fight with the guy. I try to humble myself and be nice with the dude. And he just bashed on me, dude. Like <sighs> it's like he wasn't showing me the spirit of meekness. You know what I'm saying? He was. Uh. You know. I mean. But hey, some of his rebukes. Maybe I deserve them, man. Because I was fooled at a time, you know what I'm saying? And, and this evidence is still carried with me. It's like scars, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's damning. It's like, I was into this. I was fooled. It's hard to, uh, I ain't going to deny it because it's like, it. if I'm denying it, I'm a liar. And then how can you trust anything I say? So what? Just because, you know what I'm saying? I did some things with some people at a point, certain point in time when I was ignorant. Someone ignorant, maybe not totally ignorant, but somewhat ignorant because I'm not where I'm at right now where I'm like, I'm against these things, these ideologies that I was taught and I was uh, almost imposed upon me. You know what I'm saying? And my cousin likewise, man, you know, I probably influenced him when I was younger, just like I have all kinds of people made a bunch of drug dealers, a bunch of rapper people. You know what I'm saying? And it's just a big and then I come to find out. That it's just a big fucking joke, man. It's a sick joke. I'm sitting in jail rapping with people. Black people, Mexicans, white people. I'm rapping. Then I I stopped and I went, man, I'm official now. I rapped in jail. And I goes, you know, I was rapping with dudes in jail. I go, yeah, I'm hard, man. Yeah, I'm official. I goes, man, the fucking joke's on me, man. It's like, what if, you know what I'm saying? That's how you get duped. But I mean, there's a point where uh praise god that hey that there's enough sense in me that when i i recognize it you know what i'm saying and it's not just me it's because look people through my whole life man they tugged at my sleeve to pay attention to other things you know what i'm saying and there's times i did and there's times i didn't you know what i'm saying so i can i'm not i can't never say i've always been meek there's a time when i was young stupid and ignorant and hard-headed and stubborn and hell-bent on my own destruction. And here I am talking to this machine right now, and I'm going to upload the video. So, hey, uh, uh, I'm a lucky man. You know what I'm saying? Because by all means, I should be, uh, there's many times I could have died. Out here just, just living, grinding, chasing the money. Living, you know what I'm saying? Trying to uh be a respecter of persons, be a person of prestige. You know what I'm saying? And in a lot of cases, I got that. But now that I turn my back on it, it's like all the people that are still in it, they look down on me now. And they'd be, they'd be like, man, you're just a loser, man. You just, you're crazy, man. You you got into that God stuff. And now you're, 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 you're psycho. You're schizophrenic. You're a political schizophrenic. You know what I'm saying? Basically. But it's like, no, man, you, you, the reason I know all this stuff is because because since I turned away from all that stuff, I had no money, no income, no prestige, no ladies trying to get at me. Dudes ain't even trying to hang out with me because, look, I'll start preaching at them or at least throwing out conspiracy topics. And, and it freaks them out. They don't want to be around me. They leave me the fuck alone. They get away from me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The police be sitting back listening to me. They're, you know what I'm saying? It's like I don't, I don't think they're learning anything. Because they're still operating the same old fucking way. You know what I'm saying? And then taking out my cousin. You know what I'm saying? Fucking. Uh, I don't know if it. Because it, it, from what I heard, it was a setup. It was like. It's like when they do a bait out. Where they leave a car with the car keys in the ghetto. And they 
keep the door open and then you jump in and you drive away and the car shuts off. That's what I heard. That's a rumor. I don't even know, man. I'm just upset about this. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I, I mean, the dude probably ain't uh, completely innocent. You know what I'm saying? His mom just died. And, he, you know what I'm saying? He Somebody probably presented him with the opportunity to make some loot in probably an underhanded way. And he didn't see the trap. He should have come talk to me. And I would have tried to plead him not to do it. That's probably why he didn't come to me. Because he wants to walk that life, man. And that's the reward of that life. I mean, but this is the reward of this life. Look. You know what I'm saying? As well. But I mean, at least, hey, the, by the words and the things that I address and the way I can confront issues that I shouldn't be able to confront. You know what I'm saying? But yet I can by the will of God, man. I mean, it's like plus, you know, hey, and also I had somewhat of an aptitude for it. it anyway, besides that, but I mean, if it wasn't for them nudges from God, for that tugging on the sleeve, from that conscious conscience in my mind that God put there to try to curb me from my self-destructive nature. You know what I'm saying? It's that gentle but hey it's not always gentle sometimes it's, it's a violent roar you know what i'm saying but i mean that's when you're putting yourself big time in harm's way and god's like really has to move to herd you back man you know what i'm saying from going off a cliff i mean that's the best way i can say it like it seems like man sometimes like you know it's it, it's like sometimes listen i don't look at you but i'll look somewhere else but i'm really looking at you I'm just pretending like I'm not, pretending like I'm doing something else. And I see kind of gods like that, man. It's like, listen, you seek his face. And everywhere you go, all you see is his back. All you see is his back. He's really kind of watching you out the eyes of the back of his head. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's trying to see if you will keep searching. If you get discouraged, will you encourage yourself? If he's quiet for a minute. Maybe he's chilling. You know what I'm saying? He's got his own agenda going on right now, but. He hears you, he sees you, but he's just, he's not broadcasting. He's testing you to see if you'll maintain for a season. Like when David said, he's like, there was times, man, when I prayed and it seemed like God just uh, w w wouldn't talk to me no more. And he's like, in those times I had to encourage myself because God already instilled that in it to get him through those dark times. You know what I'm saying? Until so he saw the face in it. And it, it was kind of like, it was a, I'm not going to say masquerading, but it was just like even David himself when he let the jewel and spittle come down his face. Was he lying? Not really. But was he putting on some kind of show? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Was it, uh, you know what I'm saying? It's like, all right, listen, I'm bound to the Ten Commandments, so I can't lie. So what can I do? To get out of this situation and live. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, really, if you look at David, he was constantly under the sword. He was running from sword to sword to sword to sword. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, hey, it, it the dude was resilient. You know, it, did he have the favor of God? But that's why he had the favor of God, because he was resilient. And he was faithful. You know what I'm saying? Or he had faith. He wasn't always faithful, but his faith made up for it even when he was unfaithful. This is these things. Are you meek? 